Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to AdsDrafts. As you might already know, Windows 10 is finally out and there's free upgrades left and right. You can update from Windows 7, Windows 8, um, doesn't matter what edition you have, Home Professional or whatever else. Some limitations apply, but to most of us home users, pretty much any Windows 7 or 8 version that you have, you're eligible for a free upgrade. So if you have a, you know, proper windows with the activation and everything that you purchased or whether you got it with the PC, you can upgrade. And the reason why I'm doing this, vi this video is not to show you how to upgrade because frankly there's loads of videos on the internet how to do that. What I want to show you is how to upgrade that tablet to run Windows 10. And as you might have noticed on my channel, I already did an unboxing and review of Lynx 8 tablet, which is there's another one that's my wife's one actually and I got them both um, about a year ago so that's there you go application download for Windows 10 about that a little bit later and it's a great tablet um, nothing too fancy you can play games or anything like that you can browse and do your usual things as you do on Windows PC but it's a much smaller form factor the battery life is great and it's dirt cheap I bought it for about 120 euro so what I want to show you in this video is how to upgrade to Windows 10 without screwing it up and maybe talk to you about ups and downs of Windows 10. Now, first things first, before you start, what do you need? Well, you need a tablet. So there you go. This is Windows 8.1 Bing tablet and it's Lynx 8 with Intel CPU inside. There's only one gigabyte of RAM. That, does, that doesn't stop this tablet for operating on Windows 8. Point one or Windows 10 for that matter. Now, before you download, I'm just going to put that away for the moment. The application download uh, download is going to be from Microsoft website uh, directly, 32-bit application. Very easy, uh, very straightforward. But before you do, just uh, keep something in mind. First of all, make sure your tablet is charged. And ideally, if you want, use some sort of charger. As you see here, I'm connected with a micro USB when I'm installing it just to be sure that I don't screw something up unintentionally or maybe even intentionally never know um, so yeah make sure you're providing enough power second thing it's kind of a, a process without warranty so anything happens guys you on your own unfortunately um, you know I don't think Lynx is going to provide you warranty on this because it's an upgrade and they can only promise you Windows 8.1 Another thing is the drivers. Drivers are not really that mature on Windows 10 just yet. However, at the same time, the tablet that's already running Windows 10 and that's Lynx 8 at this uh, the exactly same tablet is running fine. I didn't have any issues. Wi-Fi is working. Uh, Bluetooth seems to be working. Screen rotation only manually working. But at the same time, I never use the tablet in, you know, portrait mode. I always use it in landscape. So that doesn't matter for me. If it doesn't matter for you, I think there is a quick uh, registry fix that will allow you to fix that for you. Another thing to note is when you're downloading this installation application or whatever you call it, all the files, if you interrupt it, so if you cancel it and you want to come back later, it actually deletes all your files. And I think it's around two gigabytes installation files. So, you know, guys, if you are trying to do it, make sure you do it all in one go. Right, so let's get started. First things first, um, you need to go to Microsoft website to get the links and it says download Windows 10. The way I found it actually, if you go to Google or even Bing or whatever other search engine you're using and you type in Windows 10 ISO, it will lead you to this website. As you see on the top, here's the link. I'm going to post in the video as well. And you have two options. You have 32 and 64-bit version. Now guys, if you're not sure which tool you need for Windows 10 installation, you can go to File Explorer, this PC, click and hold, go to Properties, and you'll see this screen. And it says here links, blah, 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 CPU, 32-bit operating system. Means I need 32-bit installer as well. And I suppose at the same time, if you're downloading 64-bit installer and you have 32-bit system, it's not going to run for you in the first place. So that's that. Okay. So I've downloaded Windows 10 um, installation files already. It's creating something there, 33%. Um, 
And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. And next thing, we're gonna, we're gonna just come back to installation itself. I'm gonna show you the steps. I'm gonna just give you a few warnings as well. I nearly forgot to mention to you, when you launch the application here, um, that you know it's a 32-bit application, as you see here, Media Creation Tool, it gives you two options. So one option is install it on your PC, tablet, or laptop. And second option is to create a media to run it on another PC. So if you want to install another PC, feel free to do so. Um, at the same time, just be careful. If you use 32-bit tool, obviously you get 32-bit installation. So, you know, it's no use for 64-bit systems if you have any lying around. Um, so yeah, once you proceed with that, it goes straight to download. So make sure you have a decent connection. If you have Wi-Fi, the closer you are to the wireless router, the better. It's gonna be faster to download it. Anyway, it's about two gigabytes of installation. So make sure you allow plenty of time. And obviously make sure that you take out all your files and make any necessary backups, you know, as always guys, um, common sense really. So the files are downloaded, it set up whatever it needed to set up and it's just getting ready to start the installation. Obviously before it happens, they'll give you a few options there whether you want to do an upgrade or you want to do a full clean installation. Um, from any upgrades that I did so far, sorry, from any installations I did so far, I always uh, chose the full installation and that actually worked fine. The activation had no issues at all and the hardware is activated and I can see it on my Windows account as well if I log in with Windows Mail on the devices. So that's great. Um, if you do an upgrade, it's up to you guys. Um, I personally would always recommend a clean install. Some people were doubting if your hardware is gonna be registered properly, um, you know, if you're gonna get it activated and all that and they were saying better do an upgrade instead of clean install so you know it's up to you to choose whether to risk it or not i risked on the other lynx tablet that i have you know i can say that it worked for me once and this is going to be a second count this is my second tablet so if that works fine it will work fine for you as well well i hope anyway um these things can change and if, if, if they do, you know, make sure you follow the news on Windows and installation and activation. So, you know, just be careful. But anyway, um, before it's gonna install, it's gonna check some updates. So things like drivers and, and uh, any other necessary applications to make sure that Windows 10 is running, sm running smoothly. So stay tuned. I'm gonna come back when the updates have been completed. Okay, so as you see next step, um, after it made sure that you have enough space, you have options there. So install Windows 10 Home and keep your personal apps. If you want, you can change that. So I'm gonna click on that. And there you go. So keep personal files and apps, keep personal files only and nothing. I'm gonna choose nothing, but you know, other options are also available to you guys. So if you want, go for them, that's fine. Next making sure you're ready to install. Okay, so my selection actually uh, took effect. So no, do not keep anything, Windows 10 Home, because this is what matches the software that I have. So I have Windows 8.1 Bing, which is kind of ber uh, basic version, and I can only go for Windows 10 Home, which is fine. It's a tablet, it's 120 euros um, hardware. I'm fine with that. Install. The next thing is gonna do the installation. So it's gonna go through restart and things like that. I'm just gonna let it run. And next thing I'm gonna ask to do something, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay guys, just uh, to come back to you. So as you see, this is Windows installation. Now, for some reason by default, it goes to portrait mode and it's gonna install until it's finished. And that's fine guys, don't worry about that. You can change that later. So it's copying files, installing features and drivers, and configuring settings, which we're gonna go through together. So overall, 3%, copying files, 11%. I'm gonna leave it be. Obviously, make sure that it's, it keeps charging in case it runs out of juice, and I'm gonna come back to you later. Right, guys, and I'm back. So there we go, finally some action there. And as you see, and as I mentioned to you, you, all, you only have this mode for the moment until you're on the desktop. So first, I'm gonna select Ireland because that's where I am. Loads, con loads of countries to choose from. And there we go, Ireland. 
selects everything else, that's fine. Next, get connected. Hmm. For the moment, we're going to skip that. And now, yeah, as always, a couple of settings here. So either use Express settings. I'm going to go for Customize settings, and I like to do that for Windows. It's up to you. Guys can read all these settings and customize yourself, but I've chosen that for myself just for the moment anyway. Obviously, as you might have already noticed, it's a, it's a long process. And part of that is because this is underpowered PC really, or even a tablet in this case. Now, there's a couple of things here. You can, you can just create your username, standard. Um, if you go through Wi-Fi, you can connect it with your email, if I'm not mistaken, so Windows Live email. The only difference in this and the other option is that when you connect with Windows Live email, your username is created automatically to kind of mirror your Windows Live email, but it's not really correct and it's not complete. Um, you'll see yourself what I mean. I would recommend you to do this option first to so create a proper username on the PC, whatever name you want. So your files, sorry, not your files, your folder in users uh, will be uh, selected and created properly and then you can modify it to allow Windows um, Live Mail account or whatever else you have from from Microsoft um, access to your tablet or PC. So for the moment I'm just going to create uh, things there that I want to use. And once again more setting up to do. Right and very last thing you're going to see when Windows is installed is your desktop obviously. Now, desktop is rotated like so, and if you want to change that, click and hold on desktop, go to display settings, and you have option here, which says orientation, and you can have portrait, landscape, portrait again in landscape, whether it's upside down or whatever way you want it. I'm gonna choose landscape, apply, keep changes, and that's it, and it's done. And just to show you guys, there you go. If you click and hold on this PC and do properties, it's going to show you that. So there's the specifications once again of this tablet. Windows 10, Windows is activated. So you officially installed and activated Windows. Now, one quick tip when you install Windows, make sure you connect to Wi Fi or whatever other connection method you have and allow it to download the updates. Um, one of the updates would be the display driver and that would make your experience much smoother so as you see no problem there if you don't have display driver installed through windows updates and you just installed your tablet might be a little bit choppy and that's just basically because of the graphics driver is not installed yet so as you see in my case it's fine animation is nice and fluid no problem at all so yeah guys that's the Windows 10 installation on Lynx 8 tablet, PC you can call it, because it is a, basically a fully fledged computer. Um, it has full Windows inside, so it's just, just as complete, you can say, as the desktop behind it. And yeah guys, if you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them at the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.